Hello everyone, Charles Wallingford back again with another top 10 video and this is my top 10 cigars of all time. Most of these cigars are classics or soon to be classics, fan favorites or cult favorites. Sit back, relax and enjoy. Starting out number 10, my father's Flor de la Antillas. You can find more detail about this cigar on my cigar pairing number 18. As for price and quality, this cigar is one of the finest cigars pound for pound where it was awarded the Cigar of the Year in 2012. It has a rich, creamy cocoa, espresso, and black pepper uh, profile to it. Number nine, Tatuaje Havana 4 Veracruz. You can find more detail on this cigar on my cigar pairing number 19. This is the first Tatuaje, Tatuaje cigar I've ever smoked and is still one of the best so far. This is a fine example of a Cuban-like cigar. So many manufacturers try to make a cigar uh, Cuban-esque or try to get close, they never do, except for Tatuaje. Number eight, 1502 XO. You can find more detail about this cigar in my cigar pairing 71. This is the smallest producer on my list and I have had many boutique cigars before, but this one won me over hard. Deep, rich, strong cocoa and coffee notes are my favorite. But uh, Tim Rollins, the YouTuber, described this cigar as having notes of graham cracker. I thought that was in a bit of an exaggeration, but wow, it does have that hint of the essential ingredient you find in s'mores. Number seven, Alec Bradley Prensado. I like to get this cigar, particularly in the Robusto side, if you're interested in seeing more about this cigar, check out my cigar pairing number 14. I have had many first loves and this is my first love with cigars. She will always be remembered as something special. This cigar can easily be found and purchased almost anywhere. Number six, the Cuban Monte Cristo number two. If you want to see more about this cigar in detail, check out my cigar pairing 47. One of the few Cubans on this list, this is the prototypical Cuban cigar in my, in my opinion, not Cohiba. Number five, the Aging Room F55. You can see more about this cigar in my uh, cigar pairing 22. This is like smoking a rich chocolate brownie. This cigar gave me my first and only perfect cigar pairing score and cognac with this cigar will give you an utterly euphoric experience number four rocky patel royale if if i could give you any uh suggestions i would have this in the churchill vitola uh, you can see more about the cigar in my cigar pairing number four and 51 this cigar is like smoking a Twix bar. I know I keep uh, mentioning sweets and candies, but <laughs> what, can I, what else can I tell you? Number three, the Cuban Bolivar, Bellicoso. If you want to see more about this with this cigar in more detail, check out my uh, cigar pairing number 41. Creamy, sweet, uncharacteristically strong Cuban tobacco. But it's smooth, guys. So smooth. It's like chocolate silk. This is also a nostalgic cigar. The first time I had this cigar, I was on my 15th anniversary celebration Mexican vacation. It pairs well with cognac and it also pairs well with a good sherry finished single malt scotch. I, mm, I can taste it now. Number two, the Drew Estate Liga Pravada, number nine. If you want to see more about this cigar, check out my cigar pairings 35 and 67. I know I keep mentioning chocolate, but this is what I like. This is like smoking a dark chocolate brownie. An absolute must for my humidor. If I can't keep this in my humidor, it's time for me to stop smoking cigars, guys. It's time. It pairs well with bourbon and it pairs well with a lot of other distilled A spirits. Guys, Try this cigar if you haven't yet. And my number one cigar, 
Oliva Seri, Siri B. Melanio. Yes, in the past I have butchered this name. Maybe it's because I just couldn't concentrate while I smoked the cigar. I would highly suggest smoking this in the Figurado. You can see more about this cigar in my cigar pairing number nine and 28. Now this one's like smoking a Snickers bar. Chocolate, caramel, and nuttiness. But the nuttiness is more of a walnut. This is the first cigar I pull, purchased a full box. So it's nostalgic in that sense too. It's good with Canadian whiskey, and Añejo rum, and cognac. Or just some water. This is a great, great cigar. Everything you can want if you want layers of flavor, if you want smooth, rich tobacco. It's just the best, one of the best experiences I've ever had with a cigar. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is the list. That's my list. Everybody has their own uh, feelings, their own palate, and their own preferences. If that's not what you like, I understand, but I think you're crazy. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and if you liked it, you might as well share it. I'm Charles Wallenford. These cigars are how I would spend my money.